We now learn how to use prime factorization to find the highest common factor as well as the least common multiple of two whole numbers. And to learn the method, we're going to work through an example. And that's the example we have here. We're asked, using prime factorization, to find the highest common factor and the least common multiple of 144 and 180. To do this, the first thing we have to do is write both 144 and 180 as products of their prime factors. Now we've seen the method for doing that, so I'll go quite fast here. If you're unsure of how to write a whole number as a product of its prime factors, make sure to look through the previous section or watch the previous tutorial. So, the first thing I'll do is write the first few prime numbers. Those would be 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, and so on. And I'll start by writing 144 as a product of its prime factors. So I write 144 on the right-hand side of a two-column table, like so, and I now look for the smallest factor of 144 within this list of prime numbers. I can see right away that it's 2, so I write 2 in the left-hand column, and 144 divided by 2 is 72. And I repeat this process until I reach the number 1 in the right-hand column. So we can see that 2 is also a factor of 72, and 72 divided by 2 is 36. Again, 36 has a factor of 2, so I write that there. 36 divided by 2 is 18. 18 also has a factor of 2, so I write 2 in the left-hand column. 18 divided by 2 is 9, and 9 has a factor of 3. So I write 3 in the left-hand column, and 9 divided by 3 is 3. Finally, I can see that the only factor of 3 that I can find in this list is itself, which is 3. So I write 3 in the left-hand column, and 3 divided by 3 is 1. And I stop there for 144. Now, looking at the left-hand column, this tells us that 144 equals to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. And since we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, that's 2 to the power of 4. And 3 times 3, that's 3 to the power of 2. So we can state that 144 equals to 2 to the power of 4 times 3 to the power of 2. And that's 144 written as a product of its prime factors. Doing the same for 180 leads to the following. That is, 180 equals to 2 to the power of 2 times 3 to the power of 2 times 5. Done. We now have both numbers written as products of their prime factors. Okay, now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's find the highest common factor, or HCF, of 144 and 180. I'll start by writing HCF, as in highest common factor. Now to find the highest common factor, we focus on all of the prime factors that both of these numbers have in common. We can see that the prime factors that 144 has are 2 and 3, and the prime factors that 180 has are 2, 3, and 5. So the prime factors that they have in common are 2 and 3. So I start by writing 2 times 3. But we don't stop there. For the highest common factor, I now need to look for the smallest or lowest power of each of those two factors that I see as I look through the prime factorizations that we did previously. Looking at the factors of 2, we can see that 144 has 2 raised to the power of 4, and 180 has 2 raised to the power of 2. So the smallest power of 2 is 2, so I write that power of 2 like so. Now for the factor of 3, I can see that both 144 and 180 have a 3 raised to the power of 2. So in this case, there's no doubt, the highest common factor has a 3 to the power of 2 in it. And we're done. That's the highest common factor of 144 and 180. And if we calculated that, we'd have 2 to the power of 2, which is 4, and 3 to the power of 2, which is 9, and 4 times 9 is 36. Okay, now that we have the highest common factor, let's find the least common multiple. And I'll just go ahead and write LCM, as in least common multiple. Our starting point for the least common multiple is to look for all of the distinct prime factors that we see in our prime factorizations. And we've just seen that both 144 and 180 
have 2 and 3, but 180 also has a 5. So the distinct prime factors we see here are 2 and 3 and 5, and all of these will be multiplied. But we don't stop there. We now look for the highest or largest power of each of these prime factors that we can find within the prime factorizations we have here. Focusing on the prime factor of 2 to begin with, we can see that 144 has 2 raised to the power of 4, and 180 has 2 raised to the power of 2. So the highest power is 2 raised to the power of 4, so we write 2 to the power of 4. We now focus on 3 and both 144 and 180 have 3 raised to the power of 2. So the highest power of 3 that we see here is 2, so we write that as well. Finally, looking at the prime factor 5, well, 144 doesn't have 5 as a prime factor, but 180 does, and the power of the 5 here is 1. Remember, we never write the power 1 on any number. So we leave the 5 as it is here in our least common multiple. And we're done. We now have the least common multiple of 144 and 180. Now, most of the time we won't be asked to calculate this, but if we are, then we have 2 to the power of 4, which is 16, times 3 to the power of 2, which is 9, times 5. Multiplying all of that together, we find that it's equal to 720. And there we have it. That's how we can find the highest common factor as well as the least common multiple of any two whole numbers using prime factorization. And that's it for this tutorial.